Three, two, one, go. But I have this category, Sonic and Knuckles, Amy and Tails, New Game Plus, in these three upcoming marathons. Um, later this month, I've got it in Fast as Furs, Fall Fast. Um, and then next month, I've got it into Fireside Pride by Power of Pride. And then, of course, in January, I got this into AGDQ, which I cannot believe. Um, I am so... So incredibly excited about that. Interesting jumps there. That worked out way better than it probably should have. I'll take it. Ooh, that was good. That was a really good fight. Cool. I am also going to be running, well, hopefully running, um, in addition to this category in Fireside Pride, I will hopefully be also running Amy All Boss Rush. I say hopefully because um, that run got in as a bonus run, which is actually the first time I will ever be, um, I will ever have a bonus run in a marathon. So I am really hoping that that gets hit, because I would love to show that category off as well. I love the boss rush category. I actually plan on doing a run of Amy All Boss Rush after, um this run. So that way I can do one practice run of both categories today. Um, that should be a nice length. Um, little chill practice stream. I don't want to like stream for too too long today because for one thing, I am just feeling kind of tired, and also I don't want to push my voice um, after my near two-hour stream on Sunday that was kind of rough on my throat because of it just being that long. Also, I just realized that, that Mushroom Hill Zone 1... Um, like, pretty much all three seconds from that chroma went into my summer best, so that's- that is nice to see. Ooh, I have no idea how I got hit that way. Or, like, got hit and then, um, got sent off of the damage in that direction. Because usually you just get hit back. I hate trying to get off that platform. Alright, cool. Let's get up here. Oh, tails! I cannot believe that I made that jump. That was not ideal because it, the ideal scenario there would have been uh, Tails doesn't fly too high there and I'm able to grab him. But that's like that was like the second best possible scenario, so I'll take it.
forgot where exactly on the stage I was at. But honestly, the, the length of time that took me and then that last sort of half pipe happening like that lined up perfectly for the cycle, so... A lot of really lucky things happen that stage to just line up for a pretty strong reading of Flying Battery 1. Should be either one or two more hits. Nice, let's go! That should save a little bit more time. Nice! Another big chroma split, or gold split, however you want to call it. I might just go back to having my splits show gold. Again, I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll have my big splits um, displayed as pink. Because, uh... Amy. Amy's pink, and she's best best hedgehog. I cannot believe that that worked in my favor at all. There's no way I should have gotten away with that. I remembered that there was not a door blocking this uh, column. That is really good. Hit this at a really bad point of the cycle. Oh well. Okay, overall this has been a pretty good flying battery too so far. Hey Evan, how you doing? in a while. Hope that life has been treating you well. Okay, um, now I need to just yeet some Pico Pico hammers at Eggman, and then we're off to Sando. I find it so hilarious that that actually works. What went wrong on Flying Battery 2 in these splits that I'm going against? I mean, okay, I'll take the time save, but what? Alright, now we've got... Probably the hardest zone in the entire run. Sandopolis is really tough in a speedrun setting. One of my favorites, though. I 
been good just grinding the Lumion Legacy event and trying to sign up for, dri for driving school. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, I've actually uh, come back to Lumion Legacy um, during this event. There's been a ton of really cool stuff since um, since I was playing a lot before. I got a Gamma Very um, in this event so far, and also a um, Alpha Gleaming of the uh, Halloween Swirl. Those have been like my two big finds in the event so far. Still after that Gamma Nevermare though. Oh, that was really risky. I still have not found a purple um, skeleton Dakuda yet, though, which is kind of strange. I found like th three um, skeleton Dakudas this morning. N none of them were colors that I. Uh, none of them were purple. I have one of all five of the others. And I got like two yellows and a red today, I think. Um, but I've not been catching double ups of those just because I want to maximize my my boost tokens. I'm actually planning on doing a Lumion Legacy stream, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'm planning on going to Judgment's Keep to try to reset for a Gleaming Glossadia, and then pretty much tackle um, going for like a Gleaming Nemesis and also just like other rare stuff in the Halloween event. Yeah, I, I really like the eyeball discs. I've been using those for like as many rare things as I possibly can. Preferably, like, with colors that look good with the thing I'm catching. That's not always been the case, though. Also, a minute and a half ahead of these splits going into Sando, too. Feeling pretty good with that. Also, I should mention that the splits I'm going against are not my, uh, is not my actual PB. My PB is, I believe, a 3652 that I got during, uh, Flame Fatales, actually, um, on the GDQ channel earlier this, uh, this year. Oh, that was so risky. I just, Tails just turned the lights on. Thank you so much, dude. Um... I also got a weird, like, seam clip thing on the, um, on a ledge back there. That was actually really handy. Alright, into the Sunbaked Sandcastle segment. Uh, that was super 
super, super risky, and I really probably should not have gone for that. I'm starting to get a little bit greedy for speed doing the, um... Jumping out of the loop thing. Whoa. Here we go over here. Jump over here. Open that gate. Go down. Hit that. And we are off to the boss. Really, really good Sandopolis, too. That was maybe the best I've ever played that stage. Yeah, okay, no, it just straight up was. 315, I know I've never hit that. At least I'm pretty sure I've never hit that. Hey, Bog, how you doing? I do want the lightning shield just for... Never mind. I was going to say I, I, I do want the lightning shield for a little bit of safety. Yo, shoutouts to Tails for opening that gate while I was going up there to grab rings. Oh my gosh, the way I mash, I send Pico Pico hammers through that wall and hit those ring monitors. Let's go. No, come on. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I did not know that those were that that wall was split into like separate objects. Oh my god, that was scary. Finally feel like I can breathe a little bit. And then the, that your Halloween was alright, but it was raining out. You can play. Ah, uh, that that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't actually know exactly how Halloween was here at home because I was driving through or I was in the car while my dad was driving through, uh, Wisconsin on Halloween, and oh my gosh, I feel so bad for the trick-or-treaters there. It was so just cold and damp. It was not ideal trick-or-treating conditions. Halloween was extremely uneventful here. Dang. Sounds about right, though. Yeah, but no one, no one actually goes trick-or-treating here, Bug. They, like, go to the next town over. Because that just makes the most sense. Oh, that was... Honestly, a little scary. I have no rings now. So I need to be a little bit careful. There is the big ring coming up. Going to grab those rings for safety, even though, yeah, I grabbed these rings. And then the 
big ring is down here. Popping Hyper now is pretty risky because... Actually, no, it's not. What am I saying? There's literally no risk because this... The stage's boss is so easy. Alright, that was not the greatest Lava Reef 2 I've ever played, but... I mean, oh well. Also, I just noticed my sum of best is down to a 35 flat. I have, I have literally shaved 49 seconds off of my sum of best this run. Like, what? Now I just pop Hyper, and now we are going to be sitting here for a little over a minute. <sighs> also, I'm looking at my splits. I need to remember to actually split on Hidden Palace. Gales is in the soup. He is. The ice strain soup. That is very, very true. Also, hey, Iho, how you doing? <sighs> I'm reading this right, I think. Not this cycle, but the next one should be. Um. Should be the last set of hits. Then hopefully Tails will be very, very helpful and hit the capsule early. Also, I'm glad that I had so many rings because I just realized I've not been paying attention to my ring count at all. Oh, you are awesome, Tails. Thank you. Oh, I guess, I guess that Lava Reef 2 was actually really good? Ow. I'm seriously going to lose time in Hidden Palace of all stages. Really? Oh well, it's only like a second or two that I'll be losing for that specific mistake. Oh my gosh! Knuckles! Well, I'm losing like 15 seconds here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that is easily the worst uh, hidden palace I've played. In a... in a run. So, I didn't realize, I don't know if this is the case in Origins, I think it is, but I'm almost certain that I heard that it was the case in the original. Apparently Eggman there has a set amount of health. Um... With like... Taking 250 some... Hits. And like, if you... Were to edit the game to be able to deal that much damage to him and blow him up, uh, the game would, like, pretty much soft lock. <sighs> hey, guy beside you, how you doing? 
So I had a piano recital on Saturday, which went well, but the nerves got to you quite a lot. And you had a massive stomach ache. That is very fair and understandable. I'm glad to hear that the that 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 it, the recital did go well. I keep forgetting this guy is here. Let's grab the lightning shield. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I didn't actually know that spring existed. Tails, stop trying to sabotage. This is annoying. I actually have to play this fight really safe because I really do not want to lose my rings here. Because... I really want to be able to fight Makasonic at the end of the stage with Hyperstate because that speeds the fight up so much. Get out of here. You're stressing me out, egg, egg, egg robot. I just got away with some cheese. All right, Tails. good just getting home from work so time to relax sounds sounds spiffy all right nice that was a really good sky sanctuary Especially given the fact that I had to take the first uh, fight a little bit slow. 206 ahead. Alright, come on. I, wow, I am messing up the basic movement here and somehow not getting as punished as I probably should be. Wait, you don't get crushed there? Okay. I didn't actually know that you could get up. Thank you for hitting that guy, Tails. You're a real one for that. I'm just gonna pop Hyper now. I probably should not have popped Hyper before getting through this room. That went so well, though. Oh my god. I thought that there was just a hole under here. I need to remember, you have to take the first coaster on both acts. It's all the other coasters that you don't take. All right, Red Eye, let's do this. You found a sw swirl? Wh uh, which kind? Oh my good grief. Red eye. There we go. Alright.
Final stage alert! I think it's the raspberry one. The raspberry one's one of my favorites. That's an awesome find. 227 ahead. Not the start I really wanted to have, but it's a start nonetheless. All right, got those. There we go. This is a very damage boost heavy stage just because of how all of the enemies line up. Got lucky there with the spike cycles. really wish that I could have kept that bubble shield on to these. The thing that's absolutely terrifying is like it's still entirely possible that the run could just die on the seesaw part of the stage. So let's hope that it doesn't. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, gosh. Okay, Run is still alive. We're past... This literally the scariest part of the run. Alright, past the first one of the troll coasters. Dang it! Got greedy, got greedy. Mm, dang, my movement towards the end of this stage has not been ideal. I want all these rings because I want I I want hyper state for both this fight and the next one. Okay, whatever. Still have hyper state. I think this is going to just barely miss a sub 35. Oh my god. What is this run? <sighs> I think this is going to be a 35 1x or a low 2x. I'm not sure which yet. Time that wrong. Ow. Get away from the ledge, get away from the ledge. That was probably the best uh, second phase of Death Egg finale I've played with the Pico Pico Hammer Spam. Four, five, 
seven. Time. Wow. Thirty-five twenty-two. That is a minute and a half PB. That feels really, really, really freaking good right now. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I can definitely in the future bump my estimate in marathons down to 40 minutes. Wow. The most recent run I had of this category was in, I believe, Prevenathon 4. And that run did not go very well, at least in my eyes. Like, I still came way underestimate. The, the viewers still really, really enjoyed the run, but I made a couple really, really large mistakes in the run, including a minute 13 death into Flying Battery Act 1 that required me to restart the stage from the beginning. So I lost like a minute 20 at least there. And that I think's really been affecting me mentally, like when it comes to running this game, running this category, and also just like how many events I've gotten it into recently, and having three events coming up within the next two months, one of which is, you know, the, the biggest stage in speedrunning there is with AGDQ. And like, I, I feel like I just needed to prove to myself that, like, I've been getting this into marathons for a reason, and I'm not, like, a fraud, I guess, is sort of, like, something that's really been eating away at my mental. So getting a PB this big playing pretty, like, every stage really strong. Feels really, really good. 35, 22.18. Sum of best down to a 34, 39. The sub 35 is the next goal. I am definitely going to be going for that over the next couple of months. I just really want to see how far I can push this category because I feel like... I feel like there's so much more in this category that I can push and I can like uncover. I'm really, really excited to keep to keep running this category and to push it as far as it can possibly go.